Hello everyone, Duke here with part 7 of this Seleucid Empire campaign, Rome Total War Remastered. Uh, picking up after the last episode where we managed to take Pergamum, albeit at uh, rather steep cost, uh, which will soon be fixed. We've kept most of the units, if not all of them, so we should be able to retrain them to full strength soon. Other than that, uh, we do have uh, this army here ready to pounce on Dumartha soon. And we have landed this army here to link up with our new general to go and take Palmyra. Uh, so other than that, there's not too much more to do this turn. Uh, this army that we've managed to bribe off the Greeks besieges Ankara. I think we'll just leave it to do its thing and just besiege it. There's no urgency there. And for, for the first time in quite a while, the entire empire is looking very secure, especially with the conquering of uh, Siwa. Uh, meanwhile, let's sort of scout ahead and see what we can see over in the west, because we might want to think about marching on Cyrene. Uh, just to deprive the beams of another town, and then the nearest one will be a long, long way away. So, that's the nice thing about these African regions in this game, uh, in some ways. Well, it depends. If you're playing starting in these regions, it's quite difficult, i.e. as Numidia. But if you're moving into these regions, you can set up a nice position in, say, Siwa, or in Carthage, and most towns in between are very few and far between. So you'll easily see anyone trying to get the jump on you. Now, we can't build any watchtowers at the moment, because that's another option we have to us. So we're not going to do that this time. I think what we're going to do is get this army repaired and likely send it over to take roads so that we are the ones who own the Colossus. They've got a few more generals left uh, in roads, but that's they're down to the last city now, I think, the Greeks. That's good. And with any luck soon as well, we're good to start replacing our old militia hoplites with um, phalanx pikemen, but we'll see. Anyway, we're in the turn, and we're going to see what happens. Okay. No armies from Armenia yet. No, there's one. Wow, they built that up quickly. Although at the same time, it's it's not based on number of units so much as it is numbers, those banners. So it could mean they have a lot of those uh, Eastern infantry. Okay, let's see if this guy survives. Oh, huzzah, he did. Okay, so we have at last another general. I think we'll send him to this army. Uh, while he's going, no harm in... Oh, can't build a watchtower. I was going to try him. Okay, get a watchtower, but no dice. Marriage celebrations. Um, looks like he, yeah, our general got married. Good for him. There we go. Uh, you can build a watchtower. And now we'll march on Palmyra. Which is not too heavily defended. From what I can see. Town grows. Sardis. Excellent. We'll get that ready to build. It's building some mines at the moment. It's not too urgent to, to upgrade it purely because the population is mostly well controlled. So it's going to take combined five turns to get it done. We'll assess though, it's okay. Uh, right, let's retrain those last two units and yeah I think that was a new one there, that, that one. Two, three, four, four. Yeah, I think this is a new unit I've put in as a garrison. We can get a merge, oh we can get a spy as well, I think we should get the spy. I think being able to see more of this area would be very beneficial to us. Right, yes. Oh yes, our spy got kicked out, shall we try again? Yeah. No, there was never a doubt. Right, let's see if we can move this army out. Yeah, this army, is it? Yep, we can retrain this unit here. Good. So. I think this should be a sufficient enough force to march here. We could chance it and take one more unit before we go. One, two, three. I don't think we've already got enough spears. And I'm sure we can get some mercs along the way if we absolutely need to. If we're really worried. So let's get going. The sooner we can march on this army, the better. Just take out the Parthians here. Right, let's have a look at this army. I'm seeing infantry only so far, which is actually a good sign. Uh, no harm in getting another unit in there. I know it hampers the uh, population, but I'm too careful. I wonder if talking to it. Lets Our us patience see more is of it. limited. 
No. What about moving next to it? Yes. No. We need. A, unsurprisingly, we need a proper spy. Let's see if we Be can quick. try. Our patience is limited. A bribe. If we may Ooh, have a private word. That's worth it. Yeah. Well, uh, we apparently not. Okay, like fine. That. So he hasn't got very good loyalties, but he's a superior commander. Let's put him in here. Perfect. Yes, that'll show them. Okay, now we haven't got an awful lot of money to play with now, but that's okay because that, well, that's quite a worthwhile way to use the money. This turn, Damascus we can get we can get a temple. Oh, we've got a pretty rebellious town here in Calicanarsis. Not too sure why. I'm, I'd imagine there's a spy in there. That's my guess. Uh, Hatra can't build. So that's fine. We can get... Um, yeah, let's think about maybe getting a range here, because then we can make that the archer-producing area. Okay, this place can build a sewage system. Okay, and we need to repair that. Right. Okay, good turn. Overall, we've successfully thwarted another Armenian invasion with our Greek money. Ah, yes, and we were going to retrain these units. Can they make it? No. So we're going to send it there, retrain, and then we're going to get some more units, I think. Let's keep spying on Numidia. Very likely defended. No family member for once in an AI town. That's good. That shouldn't be too tricky to take. Um, one wonders if we could even bribe it. But we've spent all our money this turn. Not much more to do. So, so once... We have a moment in the Empire where we seem fairly secure, which I think might might even be now, but we'll see. I'm going to start updating our armies, but we need to get the actual buildings quiet for that first. Ah, yeah. Be quick. Uh, ignore it. Yeah, we're going to try to provide that army too, won't we? But we don't have the funds right now for that. Now, family members, yeah, if you buy an enemy family member, that family member joins your team. But as we've seen, units only join your side if they if you have those units in your roster. So we can't just go around bribing every army we see and have it join us. I think in the original original medieval total war, that was an option. You could bribe an army and the whole thing would join you. Right. We might as well take this off the board if we can afford it. If we may yeah, have that's not too much money. I'll do that. When you put it like that. Because um, it's just good to keep enemies off the board where we can without a fight. It just completely stalls them. So let's keep going towards here. Let's get a watch. Oh boy. Okay, he might be about to get intercept intercepted. I wonder if we should pull his army back to keep him safe. Because I thought the town, I thought the town would be here. I don't think there was one here. That might be a better use of our time. Um, this army, this town's not going anywhere. I think, yeah, we should maybe think about marching on the Medea. My lord. Hmm. I'll decide in a minute. Pergamon needs to build anyway, so let's get some walls. We have a spine here now as well. Let's just get a closer look at what's here. Okay, that's mostly infantry. If it's not most, if it's mostly infantry, I I don't feel too scared about moving our army up there. You should be able to deal with that. Oh, they've got Bastani. Oh no, they're facial mercenaries. Hmm. Because I'd like to send this army around to Rhodes, and then um, but if we're going to do that, we're going to do this boat, aren't we? So let's get one. And this one. We have the chart. Let's get a tri -beam. Let's go fancy. Uh, yeah, let's think about starting to replace some of these units now. We can get rid of all four of these, I think, and replace them with Greek cavalry. Can we get them here? No. Right. So, but first of all, I think better infantry is the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Right. Does anyone need to build? Uh, I think Tarsus. Get some roads. Nothing there. Sidon, you're not frontline, so you can just go for a temple, I think. I think some of these building regions down here haven't had proper building in a while, so we'll look at these first. That needs a land clearance. And let's get... Yeah, why not? Let's get a better temple. That allows us to upgrade more weapons. Right, anywhere else? Ah, that needs to upgrade, so... How much money? 1600. Ooh, to shy. Ooh, yeah, we can save on that uh, temple for now. Let's get Halakanasas built. And that's probably why it's unsettled, so we'll do that. Oh, there it is. <laughs> There's the message. Yes, right. I think we should keep the general safe. So, let's move this army back. Yep, that's fine. We'll come back for that town. It's no, no worries. And we de we've depleted it more with our siege. So, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't wasted time. And this is a bigger prize to take. If you take Nicomedia, that deprives Pontus of another town. And hopefully another general. And their faction leaders in there. Nicomedia might be quite a wealthy town. So, it would be good to deprive them of that. Right, anyway, yes, this army can move on. Okay, most of the archers in there. I think we should try and avoid that if we can. Yes, this army's marching up too. Destroy good. Them. Let's keep them going. And, yeah, I don't think there's too much more to do now. Use this guy to make a watchtower, perhaps about here, Build tower. just to help us see, help the diplomat as well see what's coming. Because now we go out from there, we can see the whole road system along this path. We could probably try building one there as well, in case the Parthians try and sneak up along the eastern road. Tarsus, your building, excellent. Yeah, we do have some very large garrisons and regions. It'll be good to start using them as actual army soon. Ooh. That is a big army. That sort of this is a hangover, isn't it, from when uh, we were guarding against the Greeks, but we don't need this anymore. We could probably send this army. Hmm. Where's best? To be honest, when he's done, I might send him north and leave the army behind, because it's not a great army. So I don't think I'll send it to him, and he won't need it. Let's let's perhaps send it. Yeah, let's just send it for now to Cassandros. Right, how many regions do we own now? Eighteen. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's see how the other regions are doing. Oh, other factions. So let's go to territorial. Um, Neighbouring factions. So we definitely dwarf our neighbours. The top five. Here's a good one. So Gaul, our second place with about... Oh, they've expanded. They were on about ten. Then Germania, about nine. And then there's Scythia and... A faction there that I can't... Tell who that is. Who is it? Who is it? Is that Macedon? I can't. That, that's Germania. That's Gaul. That's Scythia. So who's the dark line? Oh, it's Macedon. Yeah, Macedon doesn't look lit up. So Macedon, they're tied there at seven. So some have expanded. The, the Romans don't seem to have done. Living factions, okay. Uh, all factions, yeah. That's. The, oh no, Egypt's dead. Egypt is dead now. So. Yeah, they're not counted. But let's have a look at Butiar at seven, Scipio at five, the Julii are at four or five, Senate's still on one. Okay. So the Romans are expanding, but not on our level just yet. Interesting. Right. 
Look at this guy in there. It's not urgent to retrain the army in Siwa because I'm not. That's not my main focus of expansion right now. I'm more focused on expanding. Uh, oh, look at that! Uh, um, they've tried to take the town that we just left alone. We're going to attack that army. But yeah, uh, it's not a priority to expand that way because it's not exactly wealthy. I'm, I'm more keen to take out our rich and powerful neighbours here. I think this is much more of a priority. Uh, let's get rid of this Be army quick. here. Our patience is if we may Whoa, have that's expensive. What do they have? Hmm. Not sure, but it's expensive, whatever it is. This army can join there. I'm just going to besiege these rebels and take our time. I don't think there's any need to harm yes, ourselves. Oh, our spies open the gates. I'm still happy to wait. I really am. I don't... I don't like siege attacks on very hard difficulty. They've proven to be extremely costly. Uh, let's go up here. Oh no, where were we? We're training a new army. We're training a new army here, aren't we? So as we get a new one, we'll take out an old unit. To offset the income, uh, offset the expense, I should say, complete the opposite thing. Da, 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 da. Right, you. you can get charity, which is pretty cool. Okay. Right, let's think about marching on this army now. Right. We're almost matched in size. We don't have the odds on our side. I imagine they consider these guys better than the militia hoplites. And they've got two good mercenary units, no doubt about that. Um, I don't know, it's going to be closer than I think. Uh, yeah, it really could be. Our general, neither general is great. Um, commandability is at best a yawning gap in this man's personality. And we've got... This man knows how to shout orders, but they are often neither time nor weather. Right. Let's do this. No way we can do a night battle right now. So, let's just attack. And we're going to have to do the attacking, so we're going to walk our phalanx up. Some cavalry to keep us mobile, that's good. So, really not an awful lot of maneuvering to do here. I'm just going to move the army up. They're all in phalanx, which is good. Let's just have the general move up from uh, walking distance. Hmm. I think he's still going to outpace the army there. So, yeah, let's get our cavalry around the sides to kind of. Yeah, again, split their attention. Because they try to cover all their fronts when you surround them and it breaks their army up a little bit. See, this army's... This unit's gone the way over here and is now completely wasted to the main line. Right, let's get the general up. We should be able to start firing on these guys as well now. Yeah! <laughs> Right, I hear a charge. Maybe we should actually hold the line. Okay, yeah, we are taking some losses, no doubt about that, but hopefully they're not going to be too catastrophic. I'm going to probably hit some of these guys in the rear with this unit now. Let's get around the side. Yeah, one of their units is off, so that's good. Yeah, we need to support them before we flee. Let's get them. I don't think as soon as we hit them in the rear, that will break them. Ooh, that was costly. Yeah, we just a lot of men doing that. Okay, let's get the general in to keep everyone rallied. And then you can run those guys down, make sure they don't come back. These guys have figured out how to defeat the Phalanxes, that's for sure. 
Ich meine, die Schurken auch davon. I still haven't mastered the art of the cavalry charge here. Um, I assumed you want to hit them in the rear, but apparently not. Alright, so we're losing a lot of units now. We're just starting to turn back in their favour. Try and get these guys up. We don't really put a dent in their general either. And that unit is just unstoppable. Can't seem to destroy it. I'll try and charge this unit. Okay, they're down. Good. Good. They're changing the phalanx head on. That's what we like to see. Let's get these guys back. Let's get eight of the phalanx and pull back here. Oh, we got him! We got the general. That's why that was ours. There we go. That's it, now you guys fall up along there. Right, nothing else. I'm going to have the general rally so he stays behind, doesn't get involved too much in the charge. Okay, that's then destroyed. Good. Right, let's pull back, don't let these infantry catch up to us. Alright, we've sort of got two half armies now. That general is really tough. A bit unsure how to sort of <laughs> deal with that cavalry unit. The spears don't seem to do anything. There we go, we're off. I think by sheer attrition there we managed to do it. Okay, we're charging our spears head on. Good. Start routing some units. Ah, keep missing. There we go. You guys take that one. Let's get the other one back up. The enemy show their true virtue. They are not soldiers, only frightened rats running from our men. There we go. Right, go get that unit, for it please. There we go. Whew. This is a glorious achievement. Heroic victory. Wow, they really didn't think we were gonna win that. Okay, I think we've destroyed more than enough of their army to completely wipe it out. And we killed their general, so I think they'll be gone. And then we'll march back and heal. And then consider marching on towards Nicomedia. Oh, look. I, think, I bet we don't even have new points to Thanks. attack town. Oh, we do! <laughs> okay. Oh, we can do. Uh, do we have enough money for new troops? We don't have any new troops, really. Can we get that? I'll get some cavalry. And then I'll merge these two together, I think. I feel what would be good is being able to march on Nico Medea now and take that town. Anyway, let's do some building. 
Let's get a good port now in Antioch. Uh, let's just do that there. Anywhere that's not the front line can get more economic and farm buildings. I think here in Alexandria. Yeah, more it, troops be better. Oh, good. Everyone's building you can. Excellent. Right, we're going to keep surrounding these guys. Not seeing any new enemies coming in. Uh, we were going to build a new watchtower Fire. here, weren't we? Build and now we'll send them back. Let me build one here. So now we can see that road and the approach. I think maybe we can move this army up now. I think it's fairly secure. What happens if we move out the town? Yeah, they don't like us, but that's because we're taxing them very high. Even all the way down to low. Let's see, what's the problem? It could be because, yeah, they need to grow. All right, so we'll have to wait a little while until that's upgraded. All kind of just a holding action right now. Let's uh, save the game. Guess we crash and all in the town. And Tarsus, yes, is about to grow. Right. I think I've been the taxes down. I don't think that's. We don't urgently need that much income from it. I'm going to continue to build the roads because they'll be useful immediately and then we'll upgrade the town. It's a bit of a wait, but we have an army there to keep it under control. I'm <laughs> kicked out of spy. That's okay, we're going to starve them out. Oh, that's a gift. Oh, where's our diplomat though? Oh, he's not around, is he? I moved him over here, that's why. Yeah, I would have liked to have bribed that army, but... Oh well. What we can do is besiege that town so they don't recruit anymore, and if they want to attack that army, well, that's absolutely fine. Yep, we'll move out. Right, let's get... I quite have to leave that town on, uh, for now. It's not urgent. Let's get a new diplomat in here. And then what we're going to do... We're going to build, get this army, oops, oh wow, Pokemon really doesn't like us. Hmm. Get this because they've got another spy in there. We could try putting our spy back in, try and catch him. Oh, we've got some good mercenaries here. Definitely going to get all these. And if we're taking two of those, we can take leave two of them. If that helps. No. Okay, we're not leaving this. Uh, we're not leaving this region just yet either. I think it's going to have to do. We're going to have to wait a few turns until we can leave it. But maybe this will help. Yeah, we'll get a public order bonus for that. Yeah. That's a shame. I'd have liked to have moved on and taken the roads. Maybe we can leave a bit more in there. I don't want to leave too many because we do. Oh, we really need an actual army in there. Seventy percent. Oh, I need it there. Okay, minus two management. You're not good then. Plus one squalor, yeah, we definitely don't want you in there. He's pretty good, but he's also a good general. I want to take him as a general. Right, are there any more? Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll get these guys strictly as garrison, and then let's see if we can start clawing back some of our guys. Okay. And then that unit. And there. My lord! That unit back. I think 70% will hold. Get another 
unit. Put you in there. And we can't make it all the way to Rhodes, so I'm going to save this port yes, now. Captain. Or even better, sail. sail from that port. That'd be even safer. Just want to make it next time. I think we're going to have to drop the army off there. I think it'll be alright. I think we're fine. I'll get, an, I'll get a, a ship here in, in case. Let's get that ready to build. Let's keep everyone building. Looks like we're sending another army. Oof. Oh, be quick. Or if we may have, well, uh, when you put it like, be quick. Our patient, you insult <laughs> us. Yeah. Question is, do we take it out in the field? No. army slowly built up in case we do want to expand a little bit westward. Right, a few more turns and those Arabian towns will fall. Let's get rid of another one of these. Now hopefully they'll be tempted to attack us. And I think we'd be okay if we form a defensive line. That's a 100 man um, unit. So it'll be tight. Storm. Oh, it's, yeah, I forgot all about this. Yeah. Yes, Captain. Yes, sir. Wow, the Skippy Eye looking strong. Look at this. Ready. There's a great city itself, Rhyme. Which we'll need to take at some point, somehow. And apparently on the remaster, the Roman factions work together a lot better to keep you out of Italy. So, that's going to be a shame. Ah, wonderful. There's something out. Okay. It'd be good just to kill the king, to be honest. Because then if we kill the king, if worse comes to worse, we lose this battle. At least that heavy general bodyguard unit will be gone. So, set the game. And then this reinforcing army shouldn't give us too much grief. So let's go. These are, of course, all famous last words, but and we are playing on very hard difficulty, and as we've seen, units that shouldn't be giving us too much trouble are giving us trouble. For example, Eastern Infantry charging head first into a Sphinx is still a good idea for them. That works, which should, shouldn't normally be the case. Right, so we don't have much time. What we're going to do. Um, yeah, you drop your thing. And then. Let's get all the cavalry back. I suppose there's no harm, really. We don't have to move too far back. We can do. Do that, we'll do that. And then you guys, yeah, yeah. I just want everyone to be able to run to a new position and then form a phalanx. There we go. Right, let's get the cavalry on the wings because it's looking increasingly likely that we'll have to take up the general's bodyguard with cavalry. So they're trying to go around with us. I'll have to see what they're doing. The other option is, of course, we move into the town centre. We could even try sending our dinkiest little unit to do that.
It's hard to tell what the uh, AI is doing at the moment. So I'm going to form two strong lines against both armies. Cavalry behind, you can stay there to scout. Our soldiers are at the gates! Now they must battle their way through! Oh, it's going to be a fight to finish there. Can I get in before the uh, reinforcements come in? Our soldiers have done their work well. Ah, the look, they've spotted what we're doing anyway. Well, nonetheless, the, the gate is down. We can come back to it now. So let's pull back. Let's force them to change up their strategy. Yeah, if they move to defend the town centre, we'll have to withdraw. Because that's too many men with town centre now. Oh, maybe this wasn't a good idea, you know. Because now they can defend the city centre. That's smart. So you stand your fourth and start a battle, and then you make them come to you. It's a good idea. It's somewhat annoying for us. I mean, why wouldn't you? I mean, why wouldn't you command a start a battle and then make them come to you? There's no reason you have to be the attacker just because you're attacking but the first one to... You know, we are still the invading army when you think about it. So they're going in through the back door. Yeah, there we go. Right, what are they up to here? Try a little longer. What's happening? Oh, they're getting shot at. Oh, okay, let's move this arm you know, away. Get them out of range. There we go. Let's get the cavalry up now. Okay, looks like they actually are standing out now. Open another bridge. Attack, quickly. Our soldiers are at the walls. Now they must batter their way through. Today. The walls are broken. Our troops should be ordered forward. Oh, this is a bit of a tricky situation, this. They commanded us very well. Yeah. The AI got smarter in the new master, I think. They won't attack all the time just because they will think about it. We could try opening up yet another breach. Yeah. The more breaches we make, the more they have to spread out their garrison, and we can get in through one of the holes. Because if we attack one of these army units, we're dead. It's a very weird sally out situation. They've sallied out and then gone back into the town and basically doing a siege now. Our soldiers have done their work well. The battering ram has broken through the gate. Okay, so we're taking those gates. But they really don't care, do they? Just some missiles, let's bring up the missiles. Our soldiers are at the walls. Now they must battle their way through. Okay, 
So we're looking at you now a little bit, that's good. And we're forming a honey, and now they're going to be spread too thin. We sent this unit into the wall, what happens? Show they, no mercy! They a bit confused. The enemy walls are down! Make sure their soldiers are buried beneath their ruins! Right, we're trying to scratch Move back out. Right, so it gets a response when we go through the walls or something. We'll do that, and then march in. They're going to be too confused to fight both units. So if we hit it with this side there, and then hit from the other side like that. Perfect. Right, now we can get into the walls. Excellent. Right, you can fall back now. That's it. Well. Right. That's it. Now attack the general. So you guys here. Ready to fight. Yep, good, they're broken. So now let's get in on this side of these cavalry. Okay, it's almost starting to flee now, which is a bit worrying. I think we're curious as to why, but if we hit both hit them from both sides. Ah, oh, guys just fled in the too late. The walls are no longer out! Yeah, this is not going well. Look at this. They managed to split their general's body line in two. We find the kitchen sink at this unit and still nothing. Let's get the general out. Ah, uh, too late. That's not a deal. It's not a deal. Um, we'll just keep attacking. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, that was well done by the enemy. Very clever. Yeah, they forced us to move into the city on that Sally Fourth. That was a good bait. I fell for it. Hook, Lawn, and Sinker. That's right. That general was pretty pants anyway. He won't be missed. Um, if only we could have got the general though. That would have been a nice bonus. Okay, I'm not giving up just yet. I think we can still win this. We've got 66 men left, so they're really depleting that unit. We're we'll trying attacking that unit head on. No, that didn't even do it. Even that light cavalry unit is too tough for us. Let's send in the phalanxes to damage this unit. Ah, no, they're off. Never mind. It's not a big deal. Let's pull back, withdraw, retrain this army, heal the general. Let's withdraw. I have to remember that tactic. I didn't know you could do that. So if you sally forth and then run back into the town centre, it turns it back into a siege, I suppose. Yeah, it's an interesting one. No, it's, I've not really ever seen that. I can't remember the last time that ever happened. I wonder if it was because the reinforcements came and they realised they had more men, so they thought, we'll hide behind the walls. Because we, if we quit the battle, we lose. Um, so we're some, the onus is on us to attack. But we've done, obviously, we've accepted battle on the grounds that we expect them to sally forth, which they didn't do in the end. It's smart, it's very smart. Very clever AI move there. So, what we're going to do is, yeah, pull these guys back. That God should witness such a thing. I wouldn't say so. I think we were close there. Um, unfortunately, uh, we didn't get the general. So that's a shame. We took out one of their eastern general, uh, eastern infantry units, which is really going to hurt them. Nah. It's, it's a shame, but it's not... It's not crippling. So we still get the army. So, no dramas there. Yes. We'll probably just bribe this army to go away, I think. So, we need to worry about this. I think the stupid mistake was trying to get the general out of the action. Because when you try and get a. When you move a unit, what's in combat, it takes losses a lot heavier. So, I think as soon as. Because remember, I think, looking back, as soon as we gave the order to pull back, he died. So, that was a really silly mistake on my part, I must say. Um, you must commit. Never pull a unit out when it's in battle. Because it just gets it killed. Be Let's get rid of this army. If we may well, uh, we? Let's get rid of that army. Quick. If we may we? Well, uh, when you put and it like that. Just gotta wait for this town to upgrade and then we can march on. 
Got a nice new gen on here that we can send over here. Okay. Do we have a new. Yep, right. Yeah, good. We can get rid of that unit, that army now, because it's down to two units. Um, not saying they're trying to replace the units they lost, which is a shame. Um, but. Let's get this army now onto the mainland. And now time is on our side. We can just besiege them until they die. Because once we besiege them, they won't be able to recruit any more men. And then we'll just uh, wait them out. Well, they've got a lot of family members in here, though. Right. The AI in this game is a little smarter than I remember it being in the original. I think the remasters gave them a few new tricks there, especially with that Sally Forth technique. Let's put that army in there. That general in there as well. Let's get rid of another unit here. Let's train these guys. Right, a little longer. These guys will be starved out. Right, see, so we'll be able to get some Greek cavalry in here and some archers. Get a good army down here. Yes, Tradigal. I wonder what the furniture looks like. Antiochus, yes, he died a long time ago. Then, Action Air Alexander, where is he? Ah, Famichi full screen, that's a bit better. That can make sense of this. So, Antiochus, Demetrius, faction leader, then Alexander's the faction heir. Um, does it go left and right? Can I see? Try to see a bit to the left and the right, but I don't think we can. I think that was a guy who just died. So that's weird. Twenty-four and then twenty-two. <laughs> Did he have a son at two years old? Right. Okay, another good turn. Let's get let's get a blacksmith in here. It's frontline stuff. You guys and Halicarnassus, you better build. Actually, oh man, another one's upgraded. Ooh, can't keep up with this. Yeah, let's go for that blacksmith and let's have these guys build walls. And then we've got someone who's upgraded when we'll have to build the new building. Somewhere upgraded. I can't. Ah, there it is. Jerusalem. So once they build their farms, we can upgrade them. <laughs> heroic death. Yeah, I guess you could say it was kind of heroic. Covered his men's retreat. Yes. The um, general's bodyguards in in town. In cities are extremely hard to take out with our units at the moment. Maybe later game units will have a bit more luck. Glorious hey, we're in Palmyra. Oh, it's quite wealthy. Gave us quite a lot of money though. We will. Hmm. Enslave. It's going to be quite rebellious, I think. Get them roads. Right, one more turn for this place. Parthi is trying to attack us with a few units. Let's just get rid of them. Be quick. If we may, well, there we go. when you put it like that. Wow, Parthi really can churn out the units faster than we can bribe them, can't they? Let's get, while we're waiting for that place to upgrade, let's get some new spears in there. 
Let's keep saying, I'm going to send this army around here, this general, sorry, around here to build an army to take out any Comidia. I feel like we can do better then this time. Let's put in a watchtower here while we're at it, so we can see what they're up to. Send it to Sardis. First of all, we've got to do some building. What does Antioch need right now? Maybe... Better temple. Right, Damascus has just grown, so look at that. Oh, Sardis needs some walls. You can get some new spear units there. Yep, then we'll upgrade this town. Let's put in a new spear infantry unit. A few bit of garrisons. That's about all we can afford this time. I've got the walls here in Pergamum now, and it's about to upgrade. Good stuff. My lord. So, oh yeah, so if we get this army back in there, My perfect. Lord. We retrain these and they'll be good to go. Again. Oh, they start besieging. So this will stop them from being able to recruit new units. Hard to see what's in there at the moment. And then we might be able to starve them out. Who knows? Town grows in Damascus. That's fine. Be quick. Uh, <laughs> Our patience yeah, we've got the money is limited. To them this time. We'll wait until the next turn. And Parthia are sallying forth. Now we better be careful this time because they might attempt the same thing as what they just did. So let's save the game. Keep our fingers and toes crossed that they're not going to do that. Right. You guys drop your equipment. Form a phalanx. Everyone pull back to form a new line. And the cavalry. Let's get everyone back. Ah, oh, they're doing it again. Look, clever, clever, clever. They're waiting. They've they've triggered a siege. Basically, they're going to wait. Now, ah, it's so clever. It's scary how fuck clever the AI is coming to remaster. What we can do is try and take out those things before they fire on us. If you're lucky, it might make Eastern Infantry flee. Oh, it did. <laughs> Good stuff. Right, now let's pull everyone back. I nearly got the general kill there. A bit risky, but kind of worth it. I've got some horse archers. Yeah, they're going over there as well. They're kind of doing what they did last time. So we're going to use our cavalry to take them out. Good. What's this? Got some slingers over here. Got some more slingers now. Oops. Wrong one. Some friendly fire from the arrows, but overall it's not too big an issue. Okay, now, now we just need to take out those guys over there. This guy. Great God be prayed! The enemy general is killed! Kill. Fear makes a home in our right, enemy's we, um, yeah. Finish them off. Ah, right, we've got the walls. Excellent. 
Alright, go take him out. And we have taken our first region of Parthia. Let's see. That was very tiny, yeah, we might as well just occupy. Yeah, there's their spy. Oh, they sent most of their army out. We can bribe it away now. Fantastic. We'll do that first thing. We'll get rid of all these units. Be quick. If we may... Well, uh, now we it should just like be the general's bodyguard. We'll retrain all these. And... We'll throw in a chariot for good measure. And we'll get this guy up. And he can lead the army on a second attack. And this time I'm sure we'll be fine. <laughs> no most of to get here. Ready to sail. We're blockading the port as well by standing on it. So that's, that's good. Yeah, so if you, there's two ways to blockade a port. You use your navy to blockade it. Presumably, or you stand on it with your army. That will also do it. Actually, I think I'll do infantry there, and I'll do some cavalry here. I think we'll want good cavalry if we're ever going to fight the Numidians. Pogo on these roads, just noticed. Let's get rid of another unit of these. One, two, three, four, or four more units to get rid of. Although I might keep one of those behind as a garrison. And any luck we'll get. Yep, here we go. Let's get some arches made as well. Right. Not very much to do with this. No, these guys are wasted here, so let's move them. And we can take their cavalry, they'll move just as fast towards. Hmm. Maybe they should send them back to Antioch. Okay, that's fine. I was looking at the public order, but it's okay. No, we don't need to build that just yet. So if we, because what I'd like to do actually, is build a watchtower as we go along, just so we can keep an eye on our region and keep moving these guys back. Okay, conscious of the episode now, guys. So I'm just going to end it there. I think overall a very good episode. I think we the only thing we failed to do was take uh, Nicomedia, um, but we've managed to buy the garrison away and. He's not exactly a spring chicken, he's not going to last forever. So we just got to must, uh, repair that army, put the new general in it, and march on it again. Meanwhile, we just keep updating our armies uh, in order to, and building up our cities to a point that they can withstand less garrisons and start moving north to take some of these regions and start hitting our neighbours and kicking them out uh, of Turkey. So, don't miss any of it, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.